Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I have a lot to accomplish today, so I just thought that I would take you guys along. We have an Easter dinner to go to later on today, and so I am making dessert for that. So I'm gonna start by making dessert. Then I have a bunch of cleaning I wanna get done too, kind of some spring cleaning. So we'll see how much I get accomplished, but we're gonna start by making those desserts. I also have lots of laundry to do. You can probably hear in the background, that room right there is my little laundry nook. It's hardly a room, but it's a little laundry nook. And I have laundry that's probably gonna be going all morning. I have a few loads to do, but let's go ahead and get started. I am first off making a carrot cake. I'm gonna start by mixing my dry ingredients here. I have this recipe I pulled up on my phone. I haven't made carrot cake in forever, so I needed just to find a new recipe here. So I'm gonna start by putting into this metal bowl flour, baking soda, salt, and cinnamon. Two cups of flour, baking soda, some salt, that was half a teaspoon of salt, but I lost, I lost. Huh. I kind of want to blame one of the kids, but I'm not sure. We've been missing our half teaspoon for quite a while, which is an annoying one to be missing, but so I just did uh, a quarter teaspoon twice. And then for my cinnamon, same sort of thing. I need one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. Ooh, do you hear that beeping? That's a glorious sound <laughs> because that means that my, my morning coffee is ready. I'm just gonna give all those dry ingredients a stir. Then I'm gonna put this to the side so that I can mix together my other ingredients. So that's going back there. And then in this bowl, I am going to mix, let's see, uh, oil, sugar, so white sugar, brown sugar, vanilla, eggs, and then my grated carrot and some pecans. This recipe says to add raisins. I really don't want to add raisins, so I'm not going to. I was glad to see that this recipe calls for oil and not butter because I didn't get any butter out of the fridge. Defrosting, we don't have a microwave, so when a recipe calls for softened butter, it's just a little bit tricky. Now, I don't buy uh, canola oil or vegetable oil or anything. The only oil I buy is, well, I buy coconut oil and I buy olive oil. Uh, so hopefully this is okay. That is quite a bit of olive oil and olive oil does have a flavor More than those other oils do so hopefully it's not too like too strong of an olive oil flavor So now I'm gonna add all my other ingredients get that all mixed then I will gradually add my dry ingredients I will stop talking and just do this as like a uh, music over as I finish making this now Such a big time consuming part of making this cake is definitely grating all this carrot. All these carrots, I should say. I did six carrots here. The carrot cake is in the oven. I have kids all <laughs> sitting around me. Where did Sarah go? Okay, I did have like four kids around me as I pulled out the camera and now everybody's gone. I said, let me just film this clip and then I will help you out. But uh, the carrot cake is in the oven. That is going to bake for 45 minutes. I will have to ice it later. I'll probably do that at the very end of this video because it'll have to cool off and everything too. So I'm gonna make my second dessert. So what I have is I baked, oh goodness, this isn't really a one-handed job. I baked this white cake yesterday. Let me find a spot to put this on the counter. I baked, just a second, Leslie, just a second. I baked this cake yesterday and I'm gonna make a trifle. So making a trifle is one of my favorite desserts to make. It's just 
So simple. It's foolproof. Like it doesn't have to be looking pretty or anything. It's not easy. It's very hard to mess it up. So I like to make either fruit trifles or chocolate trifles, but. And I want to twice when you messed up a cake, you just made it a trifle. <laughs> yes, I have done that in the past. I've messed up a cake and I'm like, all right, it's just gonna be trifle. All right, why? Because trifle doesn't even taste Mommy. bad. No. Okay, okay. why? What? Blocking. All right, I'm gonna try to finish this clip really quick. You can see why I have to do, you know, music over a lot of my clips because there's a lot of a lot of background noise around here. But I'm gonna start making this trifle. So, what? I'm like losing my train of thought here. When I make a trifle, I just do a white cake. I know some people do pound cake, and maybe that is better. But I've just done white cake, so I do white cake. I do either fruit or chocolate and I do either white pudding, like vanilla pudding, or chocolate pudding. So if I'm doing a strawberry trifle, I'll do like half the cake, some strawberries, some pudding, the other half of the cake, half the strawberries, the vanilla pudding, and then whipped cream on top. Today, I am doing a score bar trifle, so I'm gonna do my cake, some crushed up score bar, chocolate pudding, repeat the layers, and whipped cream on top. I felt like that took a long time to explain for how simple it actually is, but let me get all the kids set up with what they're trying to do here, and I will get started on this trifle. First up, I'm just going to prep my pudding. So I just need three cups of milk here, and then I just have a packet of chocolate pudding nice and simple I'm just going to dump that into here and then I'm just going to set it to the side give it some time to set while I chop up my chocolate bars I'm gonna start chopping up these chocolate bars now I have two whole cases here that each have four chocolate bars in them so I don't know how many I need. It's kind of tricky to figure out like how many do we actually need here. I imagine I'll do about six. I don't want to go overboard, but then you want to make sure that it's enough too, that you're getting lots of those crunchy pieces. The last thing I have to do here before layering is I'm just cutting my cake up. I'm not sure how much of this cake I will use. Like I said, this recipe is pretty foolproof. I just want to fill up. I'm going to zoom. Not that way. Zoom way out now. I just want to fill up my bowl. Let's come a little down. So we'll see how much cake I need to do to fill that up. So just going to Throw it all in there. Then I will do about half of my chocolate, although not quite half because I want to leave some for sprinkling at the very top as well. So, a bit of my chocolate. Need a spoon for that pudding. Then I'll put about half of this pudding. Then we do a second layer of cake. Some of these look a little bit big, so I'm just ripping these pieces in half. Okay, I'm just gonna use all of that. I'll chop up one more chocolate bar later for pudding on the top. Now I just have to make my whipping cream. I've also had this whisk sitting in the fridge so that it's nice and cold before mixing up my whipped cream here. This is about half a carton, so we'll see if that's enough. If not, I have another whole carton in the fridge too. I also need some whipping cream for the icing for my carrot cake. So if I have extra, that's totally fine here. Finished look at the cake. You always wanna do a trifle in a glass bowl because look, look how pretty that looks on the side. So that is one dessert all, all done. It, I know it looks a little bit silly to leave just this much cake, but I didn't want to fill this too full because I want to be able to put saran wrap. Okay, it might even still be tricky, but I want to put saran wrap over it and not like ruin how the top looks. So typically, uh, if I made a smaller glass bowl, 
trifle. I would only use half a cake and then I would just put half the cake into the freezer and it freezes just fine if you wanna use it again as a trifle, like the frozen cake will work just fine. I'll probably just put this into the fridge and then we can have it for dessert one day with some berries and um, whipping cream or something, but that's gonna go in the fridge. I'll let it set for a little bit before I put saran on it let the top kind of harden a little bit before I wrap that. And then here's my carrot cake out of the oven. So still very hot, but we'll ice that a little bit later. I don't do this very often, but I think I'm going to set a timer for myself to get a bit more cleaning done. So first off, I just have to do some of my weekly cleaning, like mopping the floor and doing laundry and just some of that. Okay, what am I saying? Laundry is weekly. I have to do laundry daily. Um, and then I have a whole list of spring cleaning that I haven't even started yet. So I'm gonna set my timer. I've got let's see i think i can give myself about 45 minutes and i am just gonna work hard for 45 minutes i'm gonna try to not give in to any distractions i'm not gonna pick up my phone it's so easy while you're cleaning to just kind of like be distracted pick up your phone do this and that if i set a timer for myself and just focus and work hard for that amount of time it is amazing how much i can get done so 45 minutes is going on the timer let's see what I can accomplish. I tried out this mop, the Shark Steam Mop. Looks like I need to add some water to it today. I tried this out for the first time on camera a couple of months ago. I was filming when I, the day that I got it and just want to say I still love it. It does such a good thorough job at cleaning our hard floors. So I will link this mop down below in the description if you are interested in getting a new mop for yourself. Well, that 45 minutes is up. That went by so fast. I did feel quite productive. I did get a bit of cleaning done, but I didn't feel like I did any like deep cleaning, any spring cleaning. It was just kind of more the regular stuff. So I do, little pat on the back, I do feel like I do a pretty good job keeping my house clean and keeping a, a regular cleaning routine. But there are definitely jobs that I neglect, for instance, moving furniture around and like 
sweeping and mopping behind the furniture, cleaning the walls behind the furniture. I don't do that nearly enough, so that's definitely on my spring cleaning list. There's something about moving the furniture and then like getting it back where it should be and then I put it back and it's like, oh, that's not quite in the exact place where it's supposed to be. I don't know, maybe that's just my like perfectionist ways. Uh, I started wiping a few walls today. Cleaning walls is a perfect job to give your kids. And so I do that fairly regularly. I'll get my kids to just, you know, you're gonna clean this wall in the kitchen that's always dirty and you're gonna clean this wall in your bedroom. I do that fairly regularly, but when I get down, like today, get down and start cleaning the walls, it just, I just see it close up how dirty some of the walls are, how dirty some of the baseboards are. So I definitely need to make plans for a day. All hands on deck, whole family working together, getting some of that spring cleaning done, you know, cleaning windows, cleaning ceiling fans, all of that deep cleaning stuff. But for today, I'm out of time. So that cleaning is done. I'm going to quickly just throw some lunch together here. And then after lunch, I need to ice my cake. So I'll be back in a little bit to finish off that cake and close off my video. I'm finally getting to making my icing. I felt like it took forever for my cake to cool down enough that I feel like, okay, it's finally ready to be iced now. So this is just some cream cheese and some icing sugar. I'm gonna add like a cup and a quarter of icing sugar, but I'm just supposed to do it a quarter cup at a time and beat it. I am supposed to, or the recipe says to use a hand mixer. I don't have a hand mixer. I always just use my KitchenAid, but I am just hoping that my beater can reach that down at the bottom. I think it should. That mixed together really nicely. Now I'm glad I didn't end up doing extra whipping cream this morning. I did all of it. I used all of it for the, uh, what did I make? <laughs> the trifle? Because I'm actually not supposed to have whipped cream for this recipe. I'm supposed to just add, um, the heavy whipping cream and then I mix this all together. I mix it for about a minute so I imagine the cream is going to really whip up like a whipped cream. I think this is going to be a really yummy icing. Oh my, that looks so good. Cream cheese icing is the best kind of icing in my opinion. Dessert number two, all done. Well, I am pretty excited about these desserts. I'm getting hungry, just looking at them on my counter. Uh, thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching this. And I know by the time you see this, this is way outdated because Easter is past, but I hope you guys all have a great Easter and I will see you in my next video. Subscribe if you're new here, bye-bye.